My name is Mark Krauss, also known as the Munich Rodman. Uh, you guys actually gave me that name because I started rod building in M Munich, Germany in 19, uh, 1973. I was an army brat living in Germany with the interest of fishing. When I was about 12 years old, my mother purchased a blank from a local dealer and brought it home to me and said, I bought you a new fishing rod. Uh, once I looked at this fishing rod, I didn't understand why it is a fishing rod. It had no reel seat, no handle, no guides, no nothing. So I was pretty confused. I went to a local dealer, took this blank to him and asked him, what is it? His answer was, it is a fishing rod. He organized the parts for me, because living in Munich at that time, there really was not a component dealer around, but he found a way to get them for me. I built my first rod, which looked miserable. But once I caught my first fish on it, I was hooked for life. I've been doing it, like I said, now 39 years, a uh, very long time. And as time went by, I s tried to personalize the rods more and more to my customer or to my friends. And I designed fish to weave onto the rod, which became very, very popular. And before I knew it, I had over 100 patterns in my, my library. The problem I was running into, if I did a pattern several times and every time I checked off the step I did on my pattern, I had to erase it to reuse this pattern. And after I erased it two, three times, as everybody knows, an eraser will destroy the paper. And I couldn't read my pattern anymore and I had to redraw the complete pattern. The era of the computers came in, so I put it into a computer program, printed it out, laminated my pattern. Now I can use this pattern hundreds of times. Because any time I check marked a step off, I was able just to wipe it off when I was done. Put it away, next time I have to do this, this example here, a rainbow trout, it was like a brand new pattern again. And I wouldn't get confused with my check marks. The other big advantage is if you have a schematic and the left list, you can basically work just off the left list. But now let's say you got to step 14 and you assume you have a mistake. You take a ruler, you block off step 15. Now I can totally double check what I just uh, done, if it's correct or if it's not correct. It will be an easy way to always double check my work. If you if you get question if you're in question of yourself that you did a mistake, just stop weaving, grab your schematic, follow the steps, and you check it again. You count the threads you have to have right now, and you you will be able to straighten your mistake out. My left lists are printed in several colors on the numbers. For a simple reason, this left list here is only in two colors, black and red. That means I have two layer of threads. The black layer is my top layer. The red layer was my bottom layer. If you use two layers of threads, you are able to do a color changing weave. Because uh, as an example, again, size uh, step 14, I will have two layers of weave. One layer will be the body. One layer will be the fins. The body here is gray, but the fin is dark gray. So that is my second layer. I can pull that second layer back up and have my dark fin. And underneath the fish, you will find color codes from down from the fin to the back to the belly to explain you what colors I use. These colors are a suggestion. If I catch a rainbow trout in West Virginia, he will have a different color than a rainbow trout in Montana. And I advise everybody, just look at a local picture of a local fish match the colors up, you might have to change the green into a brown or the pink into a red if they have a deep red thread. Over the years I collected so many patterns. Right now I have roughly about 80 to, uh, to 100 patterns available through Mudhole, which is also the only dealer I have these available through. Uh, I have more patterns. If a pattern is ever needed of a very rare fish, call Mudhole up. They will call me up. I will make you this pattern. There is no end to it. I will not make an alphabet. I have that request a lot to do an alphabet, but you can't do an alphabet. I will have a very small letter on a fly rod. This letter will look really weird on a deep sea rod. So there is no size I could go by. But I will have every fish available there is, every fish what is asked for. 
and like I said, very simple way to work with it. Anybody can do it. I'm not a rocket scientist. I can do it. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. But you will be able to personalize a rod, give the rod character. Uh, you could have it as a, uh, a retirement gift for a colleague. You can put the company's logo on it and weave it. Uh, if he's a big trout fan, you make him a really nice trout on it. You will personalize the rod for its user.